advertising time. Welcome to a section I call advertising time. Each of these episodes I will give you three pieces of advice to help all self-published authors that need an idea that might work for you. Number one, ad cards. So what is an ad card? Well, to put it simply, it's like a business card. That includes the title of your series, a small image of your series or cover. Make sure the card includes your name and where people can buy your book. That way, when people go on the website to look for your book, they can either search it by the name of the series or by your name. Number two, ad swaps. I have been trying since after I published book one of my series and it is a really very simple idea and easy but it is kind of an untested idea for self-published authors. What I mean by untested is that this is a practice that mostly only big companies have done for a long time. Here's how it works. You write up a one-page document that includes the title of your book or series, your name, two or three sentences that tell the reader about your book or series, then the site or sites your work can be found on if they want to buy it, and you can even include the price as well if you have enough room, then finally the genre of your book. This would have to be in Time Roman Numeral, since that is a basic font everybody will have. Big companies use this tactic to sell other books by other authors that either write in the same genre or need a boost to connect the books. For self-published author, this is a titan team work idea between the little guys. So if you're a self-published author, Get out there, meet some other self-published authors that write in your genre, and do an ad swap. Don't charge anything because if they get readers, those readers will see an ad for your book. And when your readers pick up your book, they'll see an ad for the other person's book. It works for both of you. Number three, be active on Twitter. So I watched a YouTube video. This author, no names said do not just follow people to gain followers on Twitter. I cannot stress this enough. I both agree and disagree at the same time. First, if you are going to follow other writers, be active and build a friendship with the writers you follow. Not saying you have to respond to every tweet and vote on every poll, but try to do between 5 and 10 a day. Those writers would be thankful for the interaction. If you are following a writer and you read something done by another author, leave a review on the platform. Then let them know by Twitter. This way, readers that maybe follow you see what you thought of other writers you like to read. This will help others and it will make you look good to your readers. Also, comment on things. Don't just like and retweet. I can tell you, I will skip a tweet that has high likes and comments and retweets. And I try to help out users with lower numbers on tweets. If you like some and they like you back, then unfollow you by all means, unfollow them. In fact, go through your following list and see who stopped following you because they were clearly using you for the numbers. If there are any readers, please comment on a writer's tweets. Me as an author, I would love to talk with readers on Twitter that have read my work. I would love to discuss my books with them. So please, reach out to a writer you follow and ask for a Q&A. I would love to set up a Q&A. So to wrap this up, simply if you're going to be active on Twitter, be open and engaging as an author. How many readers would love to talk to JK Rowling and get answers 
or talk to Suzanne Collins. Don't just follow for numbers. Be part of a family and a team. If you like this content and are interested in reading my series, The Guardian of Light, check out my website or pick up your copy on Amazon today. I want to wish you all the best and happy writing.